the difference between step and walk, we already established that, right? Step is only one when you control your weight in between two legs and especially back foot, yes? When you have a walk, your spine is going over the foot. So you're traveling, you're continuously traveling, yes? Th that's the long step forward. Long step back, we start with our upper body rotation, we open the, create the space for our leg, and then we are taking a step. Again, we are not turning our foot that way, because that's what's gonna happen, yes? We wanna keep our foot parallel in this case. Our hip is going in pendulum action, rather in rotation. Because again, it's very hard to control your uh, the dance, when you dance to the music, if you open the entire side, you, we can close the inner thigh muscles, but it's, you work twice harder, right? So from here, foot is parallel, that's what collects your, in, engaging your inner thigh muscles and your knees, and then you take a third step back. Yes? The sport turn, don't treat it as a turning action. Think that you are taking a step forward, right? Then you change your mind, yes? And then from here, you're preparing your upper body first before the chassis, yes? From the chassis, we're gonna engage more of our back, our lap, our shoulder blade, and of course, our core. I'd like to see full ronde, yes? Not just the lap during this step. And the hip twist, chassis, we are stepping forward. We know that we need my muscles to replace our weight, but our feeling, we have to create the, the resistance sensation by thinking that we are moving back yes and then from here we resist 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 from the back foot release here and now from here if you want to keep it more compact show your legs you can um, transfer your weight straight in your knee collect your foot and then have side step or if you want to have just more regular one fast one first version you have to close your knees and then take a side step yeah so with all this review we got, you will do it once once again yes Starting with the lock step, just <coughs> we'll go through this. Yes? And we start with the right foot and lock step forward. Four and one over the foot. Two and three. Uh, four and one. I uh, shift two. Three. Upper body four and one. Two and three. Four and one. Two. Three quarter and one. Don't stop. One, two. Three, four, and one, now two. Three, four, and one. Check on the two. Three, four, and one, two. Three, up, four, out, one. Very, very good. So we have a chassis to the right and squat turn to the right first. And four, and one. Squat turn. Two, three, four, and one. And two, three, four, and one. Very good. You probably notice sometimes when you watch other people dance, or you might see yourself. Sometimes to the music, what happened during the sport turn? You are a little bit cheating. Yes? Uh, why it's happening? So, when we have a, after when we finish child, child one chassis, we have to, again, we have to divide our upper body and our lower half of body into parts, yes? And we never work two parts at the same time. This is number one. So when we finish our one, our one after the chassis, every time when we have cha, cha one, we don't stop it. Our one is the most dense step in cha cha cha, yes? So we never dance cha cha cha, cha cha one. Two, three, yes? So we have cha, cha, one, and it depends what you will do next. If you will have just a basic step, it's going to the check position. If it's, you have a spot turn, for instance, like here, cha, cha, one, your lower half is already preparing you for the spot turn. And the next step into the spot turn, I don't want you to, uh, to treat you you treat this step as a turn. I would like you to think that you have to you have just to walk forward. So instead of like thinking, oh, I have to turn right now, yes? So from here after one, when we are preparing our lower half, I like you to just think that you're stepping forward and your upper body is over the foot. Then you pivot your standing leg and you can 
come back, return to round three. Yes? So right now, when we have a chassis, number one, we don't stop on count one. One, we have a preparation. That's right. Walk forward, two, very nice, and three, replace your weight. Yes, so here we're not extending because we don't have a time for our extension of the foot. But also on count three, your upper body is already turning towards your partner or towards the front, out there, three, and now we continue to the shots. So cha, cha, one, don't stop, and walk forward, two, and upper body, three, and four, and one, two, and three, upper body, four, and one, two, three, very nice, four, and one, two, three, four, and great job, and two, three, yes, even when I count, I don't count four and one, I just notice, four and one, yes, so your action is keep going, you're still dancing this one, you never stop, yes, let's try to combine our squat turn right now, with the lock steps forward and back, and then chest into the squat turn, we're going to start with the right foot, and four and one, Two and three, four and one. Check. Two, three, upper body and four and one. And two and three and four and one. Go step back. Two, three, four and one. Not two. Ah, three, four and one. Not two. Ah, three, four and one. Not stop. One. Yes. So you still, you still dancing. To the floor, to your bone, you still dance with this one. Don't stop. Yes? He will show it to you right now. Yes? <laughs> and lock step forward with the right foot. And four, two, uh, four and one. I'm sorry. Two and three and four and one. Two, three, four and one. Two, uh, three and four and one. Two, three, four and one. Uh, two, uh, three. Four, a uh, one, uh, two, three, four, a uh, one. Very nice. 